Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video we're going to go through how to create a transparent vertical navigation that overlaps your Divi website. So this is the final result that we're aiming for. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you step by step how we managed to achieve this. There are a few elements that we're going to need in order for us to complete our tutorial. Firstly, we're going to need a large image of 1920 by 1080 pixels. And also we'll be using some CSS code to make some minor adjustments. Now, if you'd like the CSS code, it is linked in the show notes below. Right, so let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard and create a brand new page. So I'm just gonna call this page transparent. Click on use the Divi Builder. So I'm just gonna save the page for now. So firstly, we need to go over to our theme customizer to make some adjustments on our menu. So I'm gonna come over here, click on theme customizer. Okay, so the next thing we need to do here is to set the header format to vertical. So I'm gonna click on header format and then enable a vertical navigation. So you can see now that our navigation is now here on the left. So next, I'm gonna go back and go into my primary menu bar and set my background color to transparent in order for us to see through this image. So I'm gonna come over here and click on active link color. So now active link color is fine as white. And then I'm gonna come over here to my background color and just make sure that this is transparent. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and save and publish. And then I'm gonna add my CSS code. So I'm just gonna uh, back up a few steps, come over here to additional CSS, scroll all the way down, and I'm gonna paste my CSS code. And as I mentioned before, the CSS code can be found on the post, which I've linked in the show notes below. Okay, so this CSS code that I've entered has allowed us to have transparency on our navigation. So there's one more thing I need to do. I need to come back here to my header and navigation and make sure that my text is set to white because right now it's set to black. So for my text color, I'm just gonna make it white so we can read it easier. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna go ahead now and save and publish. Now it's time to go to our page and set up our layout. Okay, so we have our page already set up. I'm gonna click on use visual builder and we're gonna add a brand new section. So I'm gonna click on this button here, click on full width, and the section that we need is a full width header section. So next, what we need to do is to come over here to design, click on layout, and make sure that our text and logo orientation is set to center, and also make full screen is set to yes. So next, let's add our settings for our title text. So I'm gonna click on title text, and change our font from default to late or light. We're gonna make it um, all caps and we're gonna change this size to 60 for our desktop. And then we're gonna click this icon here so we can add our sizes for our devices. So on the tablet, I'm gonna make sure that this is set to 50. And on our smartphone, it needs to be set to 40. And our title font color needs to be set to white so I'm just gonna add my hexadecimal color in here. Now let's go to our subhead text. So I'm gonna click here to access the settings. Our font color, I'm just gonna paste our hexadecimal color in here. Our subhead font needs to be set to later light. And our size needs to be set to 26. And for the other devices, I'm gonna select tablet. I'm gonna set it to 19. Now it's time to set up our buttons. So let's come over here to button one. And in order for us to access the settings, we need to make sure that uh, custom styles for button is set to yes. And now we can start adding all our customization. So our button text needs to be set to 22. Our button one text color needs to be set to black. And our button background color here needs to, set, to be set to white. So I'm just gonna add my hexadecimal here. And then over here, we don't need a border width, so let's set that to zero. For the button text size, we need to set it to 15. So that's all we need for the full width header section. So let's go ahead now and save. The next thing we're gonna do now is to go into our section settings and add a linear gradient. So I'm gonna come over here to my expand settings, click on wireframe view. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is to delete this section that we have here on the top so we don't get confused. And then I'm gonna click my 
gear icon to access the settings, click on background, and I need the second tab, which allows us to add our linear gradient. Okay, so my first color here needs to be set to black. So I'm just gonna set it to black. Okay, so for the next color, I'm just gonna come in here and enter my RGBA value like that. Our gradient direction needs to be set to 87 and end position needs to be set at 62. Perfect. So I'm just gonna click this magnifying glass icon for us to have an idea of what's happening here. Now it's time to add our background image. So I'm gonna come over here to the third tab, click the plus button, and I'm gonna add my image. Now my image is already in the media library, so if yours is not in the media library, all you have to do is to navigate to it on your computer. So I'm gonna select my image, click on upload an image. So now you can see that our image has been added. So what I'm gonna do here, since I can't see my full image, is to click this um, desktop icon. So now I can see my full image. Okay, so here we just need to make sure that it's set to cover and uh, centered. So all our settings here are looking good. Now for the image blend, we need to make sure that we set this to overlay. So I'm gonna select overlay. So now we can see that um, our gradient that we applied has applied this effect with this background image blend. Now it's time to save and go to our primary menu bar for more settings. So I'm gonna click this button here to save. Then I'm gonna save the page and exit the visual builder. So next, I'm gonna come over here to my dashboard, click on Divi, Theme Customizer, and then I'm gonna click on Header and Navigation and select my primary menu bar. So our logo max height is set to 83. Our text size is set to 14, which is perfect. So let's come over here to our drop-down background color. So this is good because sometimes we may need to increase our website pages and for our background to really show, it needs to have a background color. So I've just added my RGBA value. So next I'm gonna come over here to my drop-down menu line color and I'm gonna paste my color. So for now, I'm gonna click on save and publish. And then finally, we need to add some CSS code to customize our menu. So I'm gonna go back a few, a few spaces, click on additional CSS, and then right here at the end of my CSS code, I'm just gonna paste my code. And now we can see that it's become stylized and it's also got a line going across it on the bottom, which makes it really, really nice. So pretty much that's all we need to do. Let's go ahead now and save and publish. To complete our design, we need to add our text for our landing page. So let's go into our settings. And then I'm gonna come over here to the title and just add faces of all kind. And the subhead text is going to be model agency based in New York City. And then finally for our button text, we're just gonna call this get in touch. Perfect, so pretty much this is our landing page. Let's go ahead now and save changes. So our design is now complete. I'm gonna save the page and exit the, the visual builder. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.